Check out what might be the coolest thing NASA have released this year. This is a real-time map of the aerosols that float around in the atmosphere of our planet. It's so cool being able to play around with this and just see how the dust, the wildfires, the volcanoes, how they all influence the planet. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's break it down color by color. Let's start off with green, which are the sulfates. Now the sulfates are representative of fossil fuel emissions and volcanic eruptions. So you'll see here how there are certain countries, especially in the developing world, which are still very highly reliant on coal. So you can see lots of sulfate emissions being released there. But more interestingly is you can see volcanic eruptions too. So check out the Pacific Hawaiian Islands. You can see the little tapers of sulfates rising off those islands, drifting westward. Absolutely phenomenal. Had this tool existed in 1991, we would have seen it all green because Mount Pinatubo erupted. That just shows you how powerful sulfate emissions can be from volcanic sources. It's kind of green now, climate change. Now pink represents dust, so it kind of makes sense that there's lots of it above the deserts, specifically the Sahara. It is the planet's larger source of atmospheric dust. In fact, the trade winds across the Atlantic push this dust over the Amazon, fertilizing the forest. Without the Sahara, we wouldn't have the Amazon. And in red, we have black carbon. So this is emitted by a biomass combustion. So think wildfires. We see plenty of things happening over the Amazon as well as places in Africa and some places in the northern part of North America, which is kind of expected where you see more arid and dry regions or places which are burnt on purpose for agriculture and things like that. And finally, we have the blue slash white, which is sea salt. This is salt that's picked up by the wind. And because it's governed by wind patterns, some of the most prolific areas are the Southern Ocean, where where it's almost unobstructed. Aerosols form a very important part of Earth's climate because aerosols actually block solar radiation, basically helping cool the planet. It's estimated that aerosols mitigate 30% of climate warming just by existing. So as we reduce our aerosol emissions, so our fossil fuel sulfates, it actually will, at least in the short term, increase global warming because those sulfates do help block sunlight. But even if we didn't reduce our sulfate emissions, global warming would eventually catch up, mitigating any cooling effects whatsoever. But anyway, I digress. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.